Hey guys, welcome back to my new video. So without any further delay, let's get into it. Hi, I'm your Dr. Bhavani Singh. Can you please tell me your name and age? Rahul Tundu. Okay, so today I'm gonna examine your lungs. Is that okay for you? So do you have any cough? No. Do you feel any difficulty in breath taking breath? No. Okay. Okay, so we will start with the cyanosis and clubbing of the nails. So first I will check the peripheral cyanosis. So can you please do like this for me? Okay, so you will look on the finger pads of the patient. If the patient is cyanotic, there will be bluish discoloration of the finger pads. So that means the oxygen level in the blood is low. Okay, so this is peripheral cyanosis. So now I will check the central cyanosis. So for that you will check the patient's lips and can you please open your mouth? Ah, okay. Can you move your tongue upward? Okay. If the patient has central cyanosis, then there would be bluish discoloration on the mucosal membrane. Now I will do the clubbing of the nails. So can you please make this like for me? Okay. So when the patient is making like this, so there will be one window called Shamroth window. So if the patient has chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, then this window would not be present there. And if the window is present there, that means the person is normal. Can you please do like this for me? Okay, now I'm checking the patient temperature. And that is normal on the both hands. That means blood supply on both hands are good. That's all. I'll be starting with the inspection, so can you please remove your shirt first? Thank you. Okay, I'll be starting with the inspection. In the inspection, you will look for any scars, any swelling or any redness in the chest area. So chest should be symmetrical and uh, you will look for that uh, the patient is not using the accessory muscle to take breath. It can be sign of obstructive chronic disease or obstructive chronic pulmonary disease. So after the inspection, we will move on to the palpation. So, you will just do the general palpation and ask the patient if he feels any pain. Okay. Do you feel any pain, sir? No. Okay. So, in the general uh, general palpation, you will get to know that patient has tenderness or not. Okay. okay. After the anterior chest palpation, you will do the general palpation of the posterior chest and ask the patient about pain. Do you feel any pain, sir? So after the general palpation, you will do the chest, chest expansion. In that, you will look for the tenth rib of the patient. Okay, and you will from you will hold from that. And can you please cross your arm on your shoulder? Thank you. So in the whole pulmonary examination, patient will sit the cross arm on the shoulders. Okay. So you will hold the tenth rib, and you will make a fold between the spine. So can you please inhale for me sir? That's it. So your hand would be moving symmetrically. So that means the diaphragm is intact. Okay. So now I will do the tactile from it us to know that the vibration coming from the chest is lungs vibration coming from the lungs is symmetrical from both sides. So you will use your thick area of the palm and you will put it between the scapula and tell the patient to repeat 99. Okay, so can you please repeat 99? Thank you. Okay, so in the tactile from it us, you will feel the vibration in your palm area symmetrical. Uh, there could be any abnormality so you will hear more vibration on one side or low vibration on the one side so there where where you are hearing the more vibrations there could be pneumonia or where you hear lower sounds there can be pneumothorax okay so after the palpation we will move on to the percussion so we do the per we do percussion in the ladder shape pattern between the scapula okay sir Okay, 
okay so the normal percussion note is resonant of the lungs and if you hear hyper resonant there can be pneumothorax and if you hear the dullness while percussing then there could be pneumonia or pleural effusion okay so now i'll i'll be doing the diaphragmatic excursion so in that you will first instruct the patient carefully so sir take normal breath and after that full exhale and hold your breath okay so when patient is holding her his breath you will start from the angle of the scapula percussing downward so when resonant change into dullness you will wait for, wait there and relax her okay you will wait there or mark that uh, location where you feel the dullness and after that you will instruct the patient again and this time you will tell the patient to full inhale and hold the breath okay sir take normal breath and then full and hold your breath okay okay relax so <coughs> after um, inhaling the patient you will again percuss and where you feel the dullness that could be lower measurement of the diaphragm so we check the diaphragm descent which is normally 3 to 5 cm and that is normal now i'll be starting with the auscultation so, so same between the scapula and you will do in the ladder step pattern and i'll be using with the diaphragm of the stethoscope so patient hand is on the shoulder and sir please take breathe with open mouth okay okay relax so in the auscultation you will found the bronchovesicular sound between the scapula and the normal breath sound is vesicular all over the lungs okay okay so the last step is you will hear over the trachea same with the open mouth okay so take it sir so now i will perform the special techniques so if these special techniques you will perform only if you found any abnormalities during uh, his or her breath okay so i will just teach you how to take the uh, special techniques so first is bronchophony so in that you will instruct the patient carefully so tell the patient to say 99 okay Okay, so cross your arms on your shoulders, sir. Okay, so just repeat ninety-nine. Okay, so the bronchophony is done. Now I'll be doing the egophony. So in the egophony, you will instruct the patient to repeat longer e. Okay, so. Can you please sir, repeat longer e? Okay. So now I'll be doing the whisper pectoralloki. So in that you will tell the patient to whisper 99. And these special techniques you will be doing in the ladder step pattern. Okay. So please whisper 99. Okay, so in the bronchophony, if you hear the clear 99, then there is abnormality, and in the egophony, if you hear A instead of E, then there is uh, abnormality, and in the whisper pectoralloki, if you hear clear 99 sound, then there is abnormality. So, in the normal situation, you will hear the muffled 99. muffled e and muffled 99 so that means there is no abnormality okay thank you
so in the inspection you will just look for any scars any abnormality deformity or the chest is symmetrical or not or the patient is using accessory muscle to take breathe or not okay and during inspection you will also take the patient respiratory rate it is must okay and uh, after that in the palpation first you will do the general palpation to know if there is any tenderness or not okay so after the general palpation so next is chest expansion so we do chest expansion to know that the diaphragm is intact or not okay so if the diaphragm is intact then the chest with chest will be moving symmetrically okay and if the diaphragm is para, uh, paralyzed then the one diaphragm will be up and one will be down in the inspiration okay so the next is vocal prometheus so when you are doing the vocal prometheus so you will feel the vibration both so you will feel the vibration same on the both side if you feel more or less then there could be abnormality if you hear the more then there could be pleural effusion or lobar pneumonia if you hear the vibrations less then there could be chances of pneumothorax okay so the done uh, palpation now we move on to the percussion in the percussion the normal per percussion note is resonant and if you feel hyper resonant then there could be pneumothorax i mean more air in the lungs and if you hear the dullness in the percussion note then there could be water or liquid inside the lungs so there could be lobar pneumonia or pleural effusion okay so after the percussion you will do the uh, diaphragm diaphragmatic excursion so in that you will uh, percuss from the angle of the scapula and uh, you will look for the resonant to dullness okay first you will uh, tell the patient to exhale and then you will do the percussion and in the percussion you will see the resonant to dullness okay so note that uh, location and again you will tell the patient to full inhalation and then you will again percuss and the normal range of the diaphragmatic descent is 3 to 5 cm and that is normal okay so after the percussion you will do the auscultation and um, keep in mind that uh, the percussion and auscultation we do in the latter step pattern okay so during auscultation between the scapula you will hear the bronchovascular and all over the lungs the normal breeze sound is vascular sound okay and uh, what else done okay and uh, when you are performing the special techniques when you are performing uh, bronchophony okay so in the bronchophony you will tell the patient to repeat 99 okay so in the 99 you will not hear the clear 99 if the person is normal and first thing you will not perform special techniques if you don't hear any abnormality during auscultation okay so if the person is normal then you will hear the muffled 99 sound in the bronchophony and in the egophony if the person is normal then you will hear the muffled e sound you will not hear a sound okay so and in the whisper pectoral uh, patient will whisper 99 and you will hear muffled sound of 99 instead of clear 99 okay that's all guys thank you so much thank you so much guys for watching my video i hope this was helpful for you so hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel i'll see you in the next video